All right, so you know what the essential skills are. You've had some time to reflect on what skills you already have. And if you had a chance to make those two lists, um, you have a starting point for what skills you want to work on or what new skills you want to learn. So in order to think about how you can build new skills, the first thing you can do is brainstorm ways, things you already have access to or you might already be doing, or you could easily do that could help you be, um, build new skills. So think about things like if you are working at a part-time job, think of the opportunities you have there to try something new. There might be skills that you are using every day on that job, but there might be an opportunity to ask if you can try learning something new to gain a new skill. Um, internships are an example of that. If you have a work-based learning coordinator or an internship coordinator at your school, or if you go to a tech center and you have a co-op coordinator, um, you could get hooked up with an internship opportunity that is specifically designed to help you learn new skills. So that means as a part of a training plan in an internship, you would actually have objectives for what skills you want to learn during this internship. And your workplace host would know that, you would know that, and your work-based learning or co-op coordinator at school would know that. So that internship would be designed specifically to help you build new skills. But um, there are also other ways, things like volunteering. Um, when you volunteer for a nonprofit organization, you're not just giving them your time, you are giving them your skills. And there's opportunities for you to learn new skills and practice skills and get better at certain skills. Um, if you have service learning opportunities or service learning requirement for graduation at your school, that's another great way to learn skills. Also think about your academic classes, the classes that you're taking in school. Where do you have opportunities to learn new skills there? You could even think about that when you're choosing classes. Um, is there a class that you could select um, when course selection time comes around that could help you gain some new skills or strengthen skills you've already started working on? Don't forget about sports, athletics, lots of opportunities to learn skills there. Think about teamwork and collaboration and communicating between you and your coach and your teammates. Um, lots of opportunities to learn transferable skills in sports, not just specific skills for that sport crafts and hobbies, things you're interested in doing, maybe clubs or after school activities um, and any kinds of youth groups you might have access to think about things like 4-H. You could join a 4-H club or participate in a 4-H event. You don't need to be a 4-H member um, to participate in those events. Um, so lots of opportunities to learn new skills. And if even that list that I just shared with you, my guess is, is you have a few other examples of ways you might be able to gain skills um, that are things that are specific to you and your interests and your family um, and your community that you live in.